my name is Christina Pajitsky. Um, I'm a National Spelling Bee Champion because after learning my own name, onomatopoeia was some bull pucky. Uh, let's see, what can I tell you about myself? Oh, I'm a college graduate. Thank you, hold your thunderous applause. <laughs> Thank you. I, um, I majored in philosophy because I heard there was an opening at the philosophy company. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, once I got there, I found the position of head philosopher had already been filled in 1467. So, <laughs> I've had some time to think. And uh, you guys think that uh, homeless people resent people who camp? <laughs> yeah. 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 I, uh, I'm pretty excited though. I recently published my very first existential novel. That's right. I, uh, I entitled it, Buy This Book or Not, What Does It Matter Ultimately? <laughs> oh, philosopher lady. I know. I'm pretty excited though, I took the real age test. You guys know this real age test online? You uh, like put in your lifestyle choices and it tells you your actual physical age. Yeah. Turns out I'm 167. <laughs> Which explains my crush on Matlock. <laughs> yeah. My boyfriend took the test. Turns out his real age is too. which explains his crush on boobies. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, my, uh, my father, who's 60, has decided to have a child with uh, my stepmom. And I'm an only child, so I'm really jealous. And uh, he asked me what they should name the kid. And I was like, I don't know, how about inheritance thief? <laughs> yeah, I know. And then he told me I should go talk to my stepmom, you know, talk about my feelings. And I was like, okay. I feel like I'm gonna kill your baby. <laughs> and then I felt bad. So I bought her a box of diapers, you know, for baby and daddy. <laughs> That's true. You guys like television? Yeah, TV's great, right? But don't you feel like people look down on you for liking TV like you're some kind of idiot? You know, like I have this coworker who listens to NPR all day. Like she's super smart. My favorite thing to do is to go up to her and be like, hey, Susan, did you catch that episode of Trading Spouses? That's crazy. <laughs> She'll be like, oh, oh, no, I don't watch television. In fact, I don't even own a television. It's like, okay, okay, relax, okay? It's not like I asked you if you thought Hitler's kind of sexy, you know? It's okay, it's just TV, it's just TV.